Okay, so here we are. Uh, we've got one major mod happening today. Um, the mod that we're doing today is a new sounder setup. So starting at the rear, uh, this will be the kick up rudder arm and that'll actually attach a side scanning transducer uh, by Lawrence. Uh, this one here in particular goes underneath the actual rear handle of the stealth kayak uh, here and here and it's designed to kick up in an event of a strike. Um, pretty good. Uh, worst case scenario, you just jump out of your kayak, float to the back, put it back down or put it back up for a beach return, and then uh, jump back in your kayak and you're all good because this is designed to fold up and down to keep your um, transducer out of harm's way. Uh, the next thing up in line, uh, we're obviously using a cleat, uh, a clam vent. This is a stainless steel one. Uh, this will be positioned around about here to allow the transducer cable to run along the back of the kayak for around 14 inches or so and terminate into the back of the ski. Uh, the transducer cable will then go down the right hand side of the ski, uh, past the day hatch at the back, uh, into the main fish hatch, past the fish well. And we're going to terminate it in here. And we're going to use this access port. Uh, we're going to mold it with a little bit of a heat gun uh, just to ensure that it sits nice and flush against the side of the internal part of the ski itself in the fish well. Uh, once that's terminated there, uh, the battery setup will go in here as well. I'll use lithium polymer batteries and everything will be displaced right of the ski uh, because I usually use the shark deterrent device, the electrode, on the left hand side of the ski. So we want to get this ski as balanced out as we can so we don't have to um, struggle against it. Uh, in a minor way. The next thing to go is we're going to remove the normal carbon fibre uh, lid that's supplied with the stealths and we're going to go with a, a flush mount for the sounder itself. Uh, the sounder we're using today, uh, this one's going to be velcroed on and off so you can change between lids if you wish and we're going to be using uh, Lawrence, uh, their flagship, well not quite their flagship but uh, close to, we're going to use a triple scanner so uh, triple uh, transducer. So this one's going to have side scan, down scan, chirp, wide view uh, sonar, uh, as well as uh, Australian base charts and chart plotting capabilities. Uh, so we're, we're going to go a little bit nuts on this install today. And uh, we'll use a lithium polymer batteries, uh, correctly regulated and charged. Uh, I've been using them for about five, six years now, no issues. Uh, in fact, I've been using the same battery for years. Um, they just go for bloody ever. Um, so there you go. Now we're going to do a triple scan, uh, a uh, side scanner, uh, down scan, and chart plotting capabilities with chirp wide sonar hybrid view, uh, full complete flush mount installed in the internal access, batteries on the right, transducer cable on the right, kick up rudder at the rear with an external vent that it terminates the cable into the kayak. So it's nice and flush and nice and clean, uh, keeping everything out of the harm's way uh, on the kayak itself.